Have you ever experienced the weighty burden of emotional entanglement, feeling ensnared in a relentless cycle of attachment that appears insurmountable? It's a common struggle that often leaves us feeling powerless and immobilized. But fear not, for amidst this struggle lies a glimmer of hope, the potential for change readily within our grasp. Drawing inspiration from the timeless wisdom of ancient Stoic philosophers such as Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, we embark on a journey to unlock the secrets of mastering the art of detachment. In this transformative video, we delve deep into the profound principles of Stoicism, illuminating the path toward emotional liberation. By applying these age-old teachings, you'll uncover practical and empowering strategies to break free from the emotional shackles that bind us, bidding farewell to the mental confines of attachment and embracing a newfound clarity and focus on life's true priorities. If you're a believer in the transformative power of personal growth and ready to liberate yourself from the chains of emotional attachment, then this video is for you. Let's embark on this liberating journey together. Number one, embracing the liberation of detachment. Why is detachment so crucial, you may wonder? Consider this, when we clutch onto people or circumstances too tightly, we inadvertently grant them control over our emotional state. It's akin to surrendering the remote control of your feelings, allowing others to dictate your happiness, sadness, and in extreme cases, even influencing irreversible decisions. But detachment isn't synonymous with indifference. Rather, it's about appropriately weighing the significance of external factors beyond our control. Picture your emotions as a kite, each string tethered to someone or something represents a potential direction in which your emotions may be pulled. If you cling to too many strings or grip them too tightly, you become at the mercy of the wind. Stoicism imparts the wisdom of loosening our grasp, acknowledging that while we can't alter the wind's course, we retain agency over which strings to hold. This practice doesn't render us cold or indifferent. Instead, it fosters resilience and groundedness. So, let's dive into practical steps. Begin by identifying the object or individual to which you're excessively attached. Probe deeper. What drives this attachment? Is it a quest for validation? A fear of solitude? Or perhaps something else entirely? Understanding the root cause is pivotal in loosening attachment's grip. Next, engage in activities that nurture a sense of purpose and fulfillment redirecting your focus from the object of attachment to meaningful pursuits aligned with your values and aspirations. Consider incorporating daily mindfulness practices to cultivate awareness of your thoughts and emotions without judgment. This allows you to observe attachments as they arise and consciously choose how to respond rather than react impulsively. Furthermore, embrace the concept of impermanence, a fundamental tenet of Stoicism. Recognize that everything in life is transient, including relationships, possessions, and circumstances. By acknowledging the fleeting nature of all things, you can release the grip of attachment and find solace in the present moment. Practice gratitude regularly, shifting your focus from what you lack to what you already have. Cultivating a mindset of abundance diminishes the allure of external validation and strengthens your inner resilience against life's inevitable fluctuations. Lastly, surround yourself with supportive individuals who embody stoic principles and serve as positive influences on your journey toward detachment. Seek out communities or online forums dedicated to stoic philosophy, where you can share experiences, gain insights, and receive encouragement from like-minded individuals. In conclusion, detachment is not about withdrawing from life or suppressing emotions. Rather, it's a conscious choice to relinquish control over external outcomes and focus on internal growth and serenity. By practicing stoic principles and implementing practical steps to cultivate detachment, you can cultivate inner peace, resilience, and freedom from the tyranny of attachment. Number two, exploring attachment dynamics. Understanding. Attachment dynamics is crucial for navigating the intricacies of human connection it's essential to recognize that attachment often stems from the ego, the facet of our psyche that craves security and validation. Let's simplify this concept. At our core, we are beings of love, 
much like a newborn emanating pure joy, untouched by the complexities of ego. However, as we mature, the ego assumes control, entangling our lives with various attachments to people, ideals, or outcomes, thus clouding our judgment and diverting us from our essence, which is love. It's imperative to perceive attachment as a game of the ego, diametrically opposed to love and inner contentment. By adopting this perspective, we unveil the unnecessary burdens these attachments impose upon our lives. Imagine living a life rooted in love rather than ego, a life liberated from the shackles of clinging to outcomes, people or societal status. Operating from a place of love instills a profound sense of trust in abundance, fostering the belief that what's meant for us will effortlessly manifest in due time. This transcends wishful thinking. It's a profound conviction in one's intrinsic worth and capabilities, empowering us to relinquish attachments that serve as mere anchors, constraining the vast expanse of possibilities that await exploration. So how do we begin disentangling ourselves from these anchors? It starts with acknowledging the attachment for what it truly is, a manifestation of the ego's quest for security and validation. Shift your perspective to understand that your worth isn't contingent upon these attachments. Your essence, your core, is inherently complete. This realization is cultivated through deliberate practice, a conscious decision to prioritize inner peace over external validation. Embrace the concept of abundance, releasing the fear of loss, and embracing the belief that the universe rewards letting go with greater blessings. Detachment doesn't equate to apathy. Rather, it signifies a deeper understanding of oneself and a commitment to staying true to our essence, letting love be our guiding force rather than fear. Embarking on the journey of detachment is transformative. It involves shedding layers of ego to unveil the resilient, love-filled soul beneath. It's a journey characterized by lightness, free from the burdens of attachment and poised to welcome new blessings with open arms and a steadfast heart. Number three, deconstructing the ego's illusions. The ego, with its cunning whispers of inadequacy and comparison, often lures us into a web of illusions, convincing us that we're unworthy or that others possess something unattainable. This illusionary mindset drives us to seek validation from external sources, leading to emotional entanglement and idolization of individuals whom we perceive as possessing elusive qualities. However, in life's crucible moments, we come to realize that no one holds a monopoly on perfection. We're all equally vulnerable, equally human. It's imperative to confront this ego-driven illusion head-on, recognizing it for the mirage it is and refusing to let it distort our self-perception or our perception of others. Let's delve into the realms of self-confidence and inner healing. While it's essential to affirm our worth and uniqueness, it's equally vital to avoid viewing others as inferior or separate from the collective human experience. Instead, we must acknowledge that each individual's journey is a vital thread in the rich tapestry of life, with no path inherently superior to another. Our stories intertwine, each contributing to the greater narrative of existence. Now, let's address the notion of detachment, particularly in the context of relationships. It's natural to fear the loss of someone dear, but this fear often stems from the ego's illusion of scarcity and limitation. True emotional detachment doesn't entail denying our feelings or becoming indifferent. Rather, it involves embracing the boundless abundance of the universe and our capacity for love. It's recognizing that while someone may hold a special place in our hearts, our sense of completeness doesn't hinge upon their presence. This realization liberates us from fear-based attachment allowing us to love freely without clinging desperately. Aligning with the Stoic philosophy, it's invaluable to perceive every individual, including ourselves, through a lens of equality. Each person we encounter, each relationship we cherish, plays a unique role in our journey, but no role is indispensable. By internalizing this truth, we cultivate profound emotional resilience, empowering us to navigate life's uncertainties with grace and fortitude. The Stoics teach us to focus on what we can control, our perceptions, actions, and will. Applying this principle to relationships and detachment 
we discover a path to genuine peace and resilience, shedding the illusions perpetuated by our ego and embracing the liberating truth of our shared humanity. Number four, embracing detachment in everyday life. Detachment in practice requires a willingness to release the grip of past experiences and relationships, akin to loosening your hold on a tightly wound rope that's causing your hands to ache. The fear of letting go stems from uncertainty about what lies ahead. However, letting go doesn't necessarily entail a fall. Sometimes it signifies freeing your hands to reach out and grasp something even better. I learned this lesson firsthand when I clung to a comfortable yet stagnant relationship, unaware that I was inadvertently closing the doors to potential happiness that awaited me. Another truth to reckon with is the trap of FOMO, or the fear of missing out. It's akin to endlessly scrolling through other people's highlight reels on social media while feeling like you're lagging behind in life. Yet, it's crucial to realize that these snapshots represent curated, filtered moments, not the entirety of real life. Letting go of the illusion that you're missing out liberates you to fully engage in your own experiences, creating meaningful moments that are uniquely yours. Attachment to an idealized image of happiness can render letting go seem insurmountable. Comparing your life to others' highlight reels breeds discontent and steals joy from your own journey. It's akin to chasing after a mirage, endlessly striving to attain an illusion of perfection that's unattainable. Detachment, therefore, is about reclaiming agency over your happiness, defining it on your own terms. To practice emotional detachment, embrace the stoic principle of focusing on what's within your control, your thoughts, actions, and personal growth. Recognize that external opinions, past relationships, or the facade of a seemingly perfect life on social media hold no sway over your intrinsic worth or happiness. This realization serves as your armor, empowering you to forge ahead unencumbered by unnecessary attachments and open to the genuine, fulfilling connections that await. Remember, letting go isn't an end in itself. It's a courageous stride toward the life you authentically deserve, one defined by inner peace, resilience, and the freedom to embrace life's unpredictable journey. Number five, discovering true value and emotional freedom. Understanding the source of true value is a transformative journey that redirects us from external dependencies toward an internal state of emotional freedom. This realization holds particular significance when confronted with the challenge of detachment, a process deeply rooted in the principles of Stoicism. Detachment, in its essence, isn't about severing ties with resentment or indifference, but about recognizing that the most profound form of companionship lies within ourselves. True value, it turns out, emanates from the depths of our character, our wisdom, and how we treat others. It's easy to fall into the trap of believing that happiness is contingent upon someone else's presence or approval, but this mindset binds us, limiting our potential and chaining our emotions to the whims of others. However, imagine instead realizing that the sky of opportunity has always been open, waiting for you to spread your wings on your own terms. This self-reliance is liberating, teaching us that our value isn't subject to the opinions or presence of others. Detachment, therefore, isn't an act of pushing someone away, but rather drawing ourselves closer to our essence. By focusing on personal growth and striving to become the best versions of ourselves, we unshackle from the heavy burden of neediness and cultivate a sense of inner fulfillment that transcends external validation. So how do we embark on this path of emotional detachment? It begins with recognizing that you are complete with or without someone's affirmation. Your journey is about exploring the expanses of your own sky and learning to love the freedom that comes from flying solo when necessary. Embrace the wisdom of stoicism. Focus on what's within your control, your thoughts, actions, and growth. This doesn't mean closing your heart or turning away from love and connection. Rather, it entails securing your emotional anchor in the steady ground of your being. Remember, your self-worth isn't a puzzle missing someone else's piece it's a masterpiece in progress, complete as is yet open to the beauty that the world has to offer. In the midst of the hustle and bustle of everyday life, finding moments of reflection and personal growth can seem challenging. 
But what if there was a way to incorporate timeless wisdom into your daily routine? Discover The Daily Stoic 366 Meditations on Wisdom, Perseverance and the Art of Living. An inspiring guide filled with daily meditations to strengthen your mind, cultivate perseverance and refine the art of living. Explore the pages of this book and embark on a journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth. Click the link below to start your personal development journey and explore the teachings of Stoicism. Thank you for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and personal growth. If this message resonated with you or sparked a thought, I invite you to engage with us in the comments below. And if you know someone who could benefit from today's discussion, feel free to share this video with them. Let's continue to spread wisdom and support each other on our paths to emotional freedom. Until next time, stay curious and keep growing.